in the previous video, we created a differential drive car model. In that model, we had one free joint and then two hinge joints. This video will, will show you how to access the features of the model without looking at the XML file. In fact, there's a lot more information out there which is not in the XML file, which I'll show you how to retrieve. So that so once you open the simulate app and you load the model by dragging and dropping it, all you have to do is click on this print model. And once you do that, it will create a mjmodel.txt file, which can be found on a Mac app by going to by right clicking and going to the resources folder. I will show how that is done because I'm working on a Mac. If you are in a Windows or Linux system, then you need to go to the folder which has the simulate executable, and there you'll find the mjmodel.txt. If you cannot find it, just search on your Finder Explorer, and you should be able to find this file. Okay, and you can only find it once you press print model. So let's see how this is done. I have load, uh, uploaded the model in simulate app, and this is my model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say print model once. And then on a Mac, I'm going to go to my applications folder where I have the Mujoko app. I'll right click, I say show package contents, then go to contents, then resources. And then you'll see that this file, mjmodel.txt, is available. In fact, it was available, it's made available because I put a press print model. You can check that out by quickly deleting this. And then, okay, and going to print model. You see, it's what created the moment I did print model. Now let's open it and just view what is inside this file. Okay, it's a rather long file, as you can see. It, it holds a lot of details, uh, which I'm going to now explain to you. First, I will uh, show the joints. on my differential drive car. So let's go through these first three lines. And use the degrees of freedom. In this case, we have a free joint and two pin joints. The free joint has seven degrees of freedom and that's because there are three translations and there are three rotations, but in Mujoko, three rotations are represented by four quaternions. There are seven degrees of freedom associated with the free joint. And then of course, two with the hinge joint. That's why with NQ equals nine. Since there are three, Six, six degrees of freedom with respect to the free joint and two for the hinge joint, we have eight velocity degrees of freedom, that's NV. We have defined two actuators here, uh, which is also here. And these actuators are in NU. And then we have four bodies. So the bodies are, one is the chassis, there are two wheels, and then the fourth one is the world. Okay, so similarly, you can go through all these uh, various variables and see what they are. For example, we have mass of 65. We have not really specified a mass, but Mujuko assumes some default mass. Okay, now, we have body zero, as I said, it's always first. The zeroth body is always the world body, and all simulator files have a world body. Body one is chassis. Body two, which I have not named here, is going to be the left wheel because it appeared third. It was the third one defined here. So the world body, then chassis, and then uh, body. Now, if you want to call it something, let's say name equals left tire. And then let's call the other one right tire. and you want to see it appearing here, then what you need to do is, I'll close that, save this file, I'll reload the model, okay? And now I'll do print model, go back to finder, open the mjmodel.txt, scroll down, so I see that body two is left tire now, body three is right tire. So once I've finished the one, then comes the joints. The first joint, which is the free joint, has not been defined, it doesn't have a name, so there's no name here. Joint one is left wheel, joint two is right wheel, and so on. So this file, uh, as we'll see, as we do more simulations, offers, a, offer, of, offers us information about the model, which is not obvious over here, and it can be used for developing code. 